Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I've got you here at our steric granite surface plate and I want to do a fun exercise inspecting this swivel plate that I just recently machined. I want to inspect it to see how parallel it is. So we just finished this up. We got another video on this. This is the swivel plate for the Fireball Tools Hardtail Vice. And we set this up in the American Pacemaker lathe and we faced it, bored the center bore there, and then we flipped it around onto a fixture and machined this back side. So hopefully this side that we machined second is nice and parallel and true to the first side. We'll go ahead and uh, lift this guy up here so that you can see. This is the surface here that the main vice body is gonna be bolted down to and swivels. So we have a nice machined face right there, all right? And I want to point out that before we started this, I went ahead and cleaned the surface plate really well. And then we set this guy up. We'll go ahead and lay it back over right there. All right. So I have got a uh, Starrett number 675 inspection stand right here. We also have a dial indicator on there. And what I would like to do is bring this guy around here to all four points, all four corners of the plate. We'll start one off, set it to a zero, and inspect the other three to see how parallel it is with the bottom side right there. We can come in here and check these areas there too as well while we're, while we're doing it. So just a, a fun exercise and a great way to make use of our granite surface plate here on doing some parallel inspections for parts like this. So let me get you down here close and we'll see just how close we actually got this machine to being perfectly parallel. All right, we'll start off on this corner right here. And I went ahead and tried to uh, save a little bit of time by getting this corner set to a zero on the dial indicator here. So we're just gonna come up there. Now, you see that needle moving around and what you're, what you're seeing there is the tool marks from machining that. That's your, that's your highs and lows from the tool actually machining the surface there. So we've just got it kind of averaged. I just tried to find a, a good zero there to zero out the dial indicator on, and that's gonna be our reference right there. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and sweep all the way around. Now the other thing to uh, keep in mind here, keeping your plate clean, there's constant dust that's settling on the surface, and we don't wanna get that caught between the surface of the granite plate and the bottom of the tool there. So as we move it around, we're just gonna to continue to wipe it to try to move that, that dust there. All right, so we'll slide our tool around to the other side right here. All right, let's come up on this one here. All right, so make sure you guys can see that good. That side right there looks like, let's just call it one thousandths low on that one. I do expect a little bit of deviation, but my hopes is that it's gonna be very minimum on this, okay? So now that we've got that one inspected there, let's go ahead and we will move it around to this other corner here. All right, let's come up on our third side. That one looks good. It looks like it's zero there and about. You may be a few tenths difference, but the way it's bumping around, I'm just gonna call that, I'm just gonna call that one zero. All right, we'll go ahead and swing it around here to our fourth corner, wiping the plate off. All right, let's see what we get here. Now there's a high right there, all right? So let me come around here so I can read it like you guys can see it. So it looks like we're about one to one and a half thou. Looks like about one thousandths right there. That is not bad. So based off our, our opposite corners that we're reading different off of zero, we have a plus one here. And then 180 out, you've got a minus one right there. So it looks like we've got so far about two to maybe two and a half thousandths out of parallel that we're measuring this. Now I do want to come back and let's go ahead and I want to measure the middle of it there as well. Yep, there is a high spot right there for you. 
All right, so we got a little bit more there. So I was wrong with what I said the first time. So that is uh, two thousandths right there. Yeah, looks like we're getting about two thousandths out right there. So let's go ahead and just move on around. We'll check the other side there as well. That one's about a half a thousandths. That one looks to be about zero to a half. Getting a little bit right there. It's sort of between there. So it's just a few tenths difference. We've got one more side to check, so let's sweep it around there. All right, looks like we've got a little bit high on that one there too, so about a thousandths. All right. About a thousandths there, thousandths and a half or so. Just depends on where you land on those tool marks there. That one's about one thou. So it's actually in pretty good shape. It's actually a little bit better than what I was uh, expecting it to measure. And I'm real happy with that. So this spot here is two thousandths. And then our ear to the right side of that over here is our other, our next highest spot being about a thousandths, maybe a thousandths and a half, depending on where you land on those tool marks. So two thousandths out of parallel is what I'm calling this right here. We come back in there and sweep that. So two thousandths. I thought that this part right here would be a really great example and a fun exercise on showing one of the uses for our granite surface plate. Whenever we received this and got it installed here and after our first you know, few videos of showing some of the work that we've done on that, We've had quite a few comments coming through from folks who are unfamiliar with what a granite surface plate is and how it's used or why it needs to be as accurate as it is. Your granite surface plate is your master flat reference point in which all of your measurements are gonna build, be built up on, upon. So it's, a, it's really important that your granite plate is flat, but not only that, that you have to have a completely flat surface in order to do accurate measurements like this. For example, if you're using a flat surface that isn't flat, and let's just talk a thousandths of an inch, two thousandths of an inch, which is a mile for a granite surface plate. If you have a low spot over here on this side and you're taking your comparative tool like this and you're sweeping it over here to this side, well then you're gonna start dropping down into a valley and you're gonna get an inaccurate measurement right there. So you want the entire surface of your granite surface plate to be completely flat so that all of your tools are on the same exact plane when you're taking your measurements. And that's one of the reasons why it's important to use a granite surface plate for these type of measurements. And it's also very important to take care of it so that you have a good, accurate surface here on which you can use for measurements and building up on when you're using all of your different inspection tools here. So again, I thought that this was a great example to show you guys how you can use your granite surface plate to inspect a part for parallelism. In our case, our swivel plate for our big bench vise there. Now, keep in mind that every part has a different tolerance, so it just depends on what you're machining, on what that tolerance is gonna be. We don't actually have a tolerance for this. This is just a swivel plate for a big heavy bench vise. It's not gonna make or break the job if you're out you know, several thousandths on something like that. With this being just a couple of thousandths out, whenever this is all bolted down to the table and the, the, the top of it is bolted down, it's gonna flatten all that out. You're never gonna know that's out a couple of thousandths. But what I was showing you there is a reference on how we can measure a part like that. I really enjoy doing that with these types of jobs, coming in here to the granite plate and taking my tools and doing some really nice precision inspection on these parts and uh, seeing where we stack up at on our on our machining so my intentions with these 
videos is to help all the guys that are out there trying to learn the trades. They're trying to learn machining, manufacturing, and all of the techniques that we use and the tools that we use to measure out all of our jobs that we work on. So just trying to be helpful out there to all the guys that are trying to learn. And I hope that this is helping you out in some way and that you have some takeaways from that. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again on the next project.